Here's a conversation that you can start with family and friends about the things of God. And this conversation starts with a question. And the question is this, how can I claim God's promises in my life? God and the Bible has many promises, but the question is, how do I claim them? Well, the starting point is to remember God's promises. Many times, the reason why we're unable to claim God's promises is because we don't even remember what they are. It's important for us to read the Bible. It's important for us to remember what God promises us in our, li- promises us in our lives. When we do that, we can go to the next step. And that next step is to resist settling. Resist settling for the things of this world. Resist settling for where we are. Resist settling in old habits and trusting that God has great promises and we can move forward. A good verse to remind us of that is found in Proverbs 26, 11. Like a dog that returns to his vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. We've got to resist the desire to repeat the foolish things that we do. Instead, we trust that God has good promises for us and we can change and we can receive what these promises are for us. And finally, not just resist the, the, to, to do the old stuff, but receive God's promises. Remember, resist, and receive. It's important for us not just to believe and remember God's promises, but to open our hands to willingly receive what those promises are. A good verse to remember is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through Him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. How can I receive or claim God's promises? Remember, resist living the old way, and receive God's promises. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your holy word. Thank you that you have many promises for us. Teach us to remember these promises, to resist settling for where we are, and to receive your good promises in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.